Welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another casted game. And we're here on the pop with the Mongols. That's right, the Mongols and the Ottomans here, Crackety, up against Flash Khan. And we've got two brand new units in this casted game that we will need to talk about. Because the Mongols, they've got the brand new Age 2 Lancer, the Keshik. And I mean, Crackety, I mean, he's playing as the Mongols. And they've got a... They haven't exactly got a new unit, but basically the Spahi has been completely reworked. I say completely, that's maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but it, it's different, alright? It's different. Uh, it's got a lot less... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, a lot more health, but also costs a little bit more, and has a lot more range. It, it's kind of crazy. It, it's, it's, I think, pretty cool. I like the changes that they're making to civilizations. I mean, you know, we we all like diverse civilizations, right? I mean, if you like civilizations that are pretty much the same as each other, go play Age of Empires 2. You know, like, we're, us over here in AoE 4, we, we like ourselves some diversity with the civilizations. And I think it's a good step in the right direction with having more unique units in uh, in with all, the, all of the civilizations. So I think that's a super cool change that they've got. We're going to have to see... What the new Spahi and the new Keshik unit is going to be like, but for the time being, it looks like Flash Khan, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be doing a little bit of a, a tower rush. Okay, so, <laughs> we got brand new units being added to the game, and Flash Khan's just like, okay, we tower rush. Like, uh, okay, okay, that's, I mean, ho hopefully we do actually see the new unit in this game, <laughs> because... <laughs> If it is just a, a, a tower rush, then that could be a little bit un underwhelming, but we are on the map Prairie today, so it is a good map to tower rush, I'll give them that. It's it's a really easy map, you can, you know, stick down your, your towers around the back of the uh, the wood line. You, you've also got them the Khan that can run in, use the eagle ability, and then they can spot all of the villagers, so if there's any map to do it, it's definitely this one. But Crackety looking to age up with the Sultani trade network. So this man knows how to make content because trade has been reworked, okay? Trade has been reworked. I've just realized I can't actually zoom in or out. Oh, odd. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll figure that one out after the game. I was going to zoom in here, but I, I can't. Um, but anyway, trade's been reworked. So trade is completely different now. And basically the way it works is trade gives you gold for every trip it makes to any market well either way basically so a trader walking from here to here might generate like i don't know 30 gold right 30 gold but then on the when it's walking back it comes here it'll also give 30 gold and then when it walks back here it'll also give 30 gold so it's basically it basically halves uh it's, it's half of the last trade basically but then it's doubled again by uh by the trip that it makes right so, it's a, it's a clever way to negate the trade trick, basically. Um, it's, it's sort of like built in now. So, you know, let me know what you think of that change. I think it's it's pretty clever. It's, it's probably not the best fix, but, you know, it is what it is. It's better than the trade trick still being in the game. And there it is. The age up does come through. Flash Khan going to be starting to siege down this house with the spearman. That tower is going up behind the wood line. Two Spears going to be guarding that one out. And Crackley going to be immediately dropping down an archery range. Going to be able to defend from that uh, that Spearman. That, that tower is going to get up though. So Crackley may have to be a little bit careful. Does still have uh, a couple straggler trees that he can uh, chop. But speaking of which, they still haven't fixed these straggler trees. They're still further away than any other map, which... I don't know. I feel like they should have fixed it at this point, but... It is what it is, and that tower is going to get up. Crackety does have out his first archer. Those spearmen are going to get pushed away. Villager also coming out to repair that up. Doesn't want to give Flash Khan any sort of uh, bouncy. Crackety going to be moving over to on onto the stone now. I assume for a military school. The outpost is up to spearmen sit inside. Back in the base though, Flash Khan should be able to age up. Closing quite a bit of uh, food right there. Might just want to do a little bit of a force drop off there with the villagers. 
Crackety, he's having to make use of these straggler trees. Unfortunately for him, they have not been fixed. So that's a long, long walking distance right there. But better than no wood, I guess. Crackety at the moment. He's going to have to address this issue soon. We can't wait for siege engineering for, for that tower. But back in the base of Flash Cunt, Deer Stones is coming down as well as a stable. So hopefully this means we see the new unit. I have no clue why I can't zoom in, by the way. Maybe maybe we take a quick look right now. Let's take a quick little look. Oh, I know so many of you are going to be clicking away right now. Oh, God, it's awful. Uh, zoom zoom in camera, zoom out cam. What? Okay, right, well, bugged, aim, bu bugged game, I guess. I, I don't know why it's doing that. That's uh, that's kind of a shame, though. Um, yeah, I don't really... <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I can't really zoom in. I was... I mean, look. The, the skin of the Keshik is still the same as a Lance, and we all know what a Lance looks like, so we, we don't need to, uh, we don't need to zoom in that far, right? But Flash Khan are going to be moving his stable over to that Uvu. we will be able to double produce those Keshiks. Villager for Crackety, unfortunately, does get spotted out here. Khan just two steps ahead of him. Has a spim in there, ready. I mean, you know, it's kind of to be expected with the uh, when you go up with the Sultani trade network. And villagers looking to get pulled here. Textiles is in for Crackety. Only two spearmen sit inside the outpost. So, Crackety may only be losing the one villager. Uh, in fact, he may not even be losing any villagers. Yeah, manages to save, uh, save all of the villagers there. One of them gets taken down to 21 HP. So, Textiles coming in clutch right there. And there it is, the Keshik. Double production of Keshiks coming through. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, what's crazy about this unit, okay? Is that they heal with the dam with damage that they do. So, when you have a damaged, lan uh, a damaged Kes Keshik... I said Lancer there because it's still actually called a Lancer here. So, that's a little bit of a... Yeah, they haven't renamed the double production. They've only... Uh, so, that's a little bit of a bug. I have to report that one. But uh, basically, if, if your Keshik's damaged, like this one's about to be by the wolf, I manages to dodge it. And it does a little attack on on your opponent. Your Keshik is then going to heal up. It It's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure they've got this mechanic in Age of Empires 2 for the Tartars, I think it is. Not entirely sure, but... I'm really looking forward to seeing how this mechanic works. We've got double military school coming down now from Crackety. Keshik's going to be running in. I can't zoom in. I wish I could zoom in right now, but I can't. And we see there they do quite a bit of damage. We see that the healing comes in. Villager does get taken out. But we see here the Tansen fire is able to do quite a bit of damage. Khan goes down in a lot of health, uh, health taken off that one Keshik. It does have three ranged armor. Four if you grab the blacksmith upgrade. So pretty decent ranged armor, I'll be honest. Especially for how cheap they are. They're not that expensive. Only 120 food, 80 gold. Really not that expensive if you if you think about it. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than, a, than your regular Lancer. I mean, it's, it's quite a bit more expensive than a Horseman, though. I feel like Horsemen are kind of useless here for the Mongols, to be honest. Maybe in the later stage of the game, it will become uh, a little bit more useful. But yeah, it looks like Flash, Can Flash Khan here is going to be going for... A fast castle behind this. So just going to be having a couple Keshiks. Let me see his macro there is, is implying that. Keshik numbers looking pretty decent here. It's, it's pretty crazy how fast they can uh, mass up these Keshiks. The double production really does help out as well. It's uh, 220, I think. Oh, just, just 200. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously 200 for double the resources, right? And then we've also got Step Lancers, which is a... Uh, a new Mongol technology, only available in the Imperial Age, though. So that increases their healing by plus one per attack and their speed by plus 10%, which is pretty huge. It's pretty huge. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this unit does late game as well. Because Mongols, they're known for their lances as well. You know, their lance of pressure in Age 3. So they, they no longer have a lancer. They got this unit instead. Whether that's going to completely, you know, is it, is this going to fill the roles of, a, of an age 3 Lancer? We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. But uh, the market for Crackety is going to be taken out now. Those three spears buying a lot of value for Khan right there. 
like Crackley's trade by quite a bit. Crackley hasn't even started trading yet, so we, <laughs> he's eat, yeah, I mean, yeah. At least he can keep them inside the Sultani trade network. That's a nice little bonus about the Ottomans here, right? You're generating 56 gold a minute right there, so you've got to be feeling pretty happy about that. You know, you're constantly making your opponent think, mm, are they trading? Are they not trading? And we see here, Keshik's going to be taking a fight up against the, the Spearman. One Keshik goes down, one Spearman goes down. I feel like Flash Gun could probably take this with uh, with Corrector Micro. You can probably take them both out. you got to remember your Keshik's heal as well with the damage that they do. I, I feel like there's going to be some bug that we see with, with the Keshik's. I don't know. I feel like it's just a matter of time before we see... You know, s someone exploiting this so it just gets like infinite, infinite health regeneration or something. I don't know, but Gragdy's got the he's got the card out. We've got some Spahi. Finally, we're seeing the Spahi coming out. More health, more attack, more expensive, and more importantly, more range. And range range is a crucial one. And hopefully, you'll we'll see why later because. These things are like hoplites, like re like real life hoplites, because they can attack like three. Like if you've got three in a little line, the third one can actually still hit your opponent. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hopefully we do see it. Is Crackety at the moment? He's got both military schools set to spar heat. Back in the base of Flash Khan, still looking to add in even more Keshex here. Going heavy on the Keshex. I, I love to see it. I love to see when we, when we got like Keshex only challenges coming out when, when new units get released. But Crackety, gonna be, gonna be pushed into his little outpost right there. You see, Arify does still do quite a bit of damage. Iron Under Mesh is coming in now for Flash Khan, so we're gonna have to see how that affects these uh, these units. Looks like Crackley is going to start to trade again. We see cons the, the traders will always have gold in their bags now. You'll never have an empty bag. Because whatever trip they make, they will, uh, they'll they'll always be carrying some sort of gold. So Crackley is going to be aging up now. Mehmed Imperial Armory coming down. Is the Keshek uh, upgrade in? A veteran C upgrade is in for the Keshek's. So that's good to see. Relics also being brought in. So Keshiks now have 175 HP and 4 ranged armor. With Iron Under Mesh coming in as well, we'll have plus 5, which is going to be it's going to be um, much more tanky underneath the arrow fire of Crackety. Crackety doesn't have his plus 1 attack, so... The Crackety manages to take out a Keshik right there. Pretty good value for him right there. Spahis still... Coming out from the military schools. And now we've got an actual stable coming down. Yes, Crackety. Let's get the full-on Spahi versus Keshik battle going on. Mehmed Imperial Armory is up. Manganel in the queue. Is it just me or does everything look much brighter? I don't know. These these symbols look much brighter than they did before. M maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm hallucinating. I don't know. But Keshik's... Able to find a couple of little kills in there. Trade is going to get taken out as well here. And this is what makes the Keshik such a good raiding unit. And I love that the Mongols have got this unit. It really enforces that they're a raiding civilization, right? Because when you attack with these units and you pick off villagers, they don't do damage to you, but you do damage to them and you heal up your units. I, I really like it. I think it's super smart. And Crackly, maybe looking to lose his uh, meta here. Keshik, we see... This one was quite damaged. Now it's full up. Now it's back up to full HP. Such a cool unit, honestly. Th this is going to be one of the the most fun units in the game now. I think. Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I I, I just love to see units like this being added into the game. And we see here the spy here with their insane range. Have a look at that. Look how far back it's hitting it. Pretty crazy stuff right there. We've also got some other added uh, uh, other units added for other civilizations. That I'm looking forward to. To casting so maybe maybe hit that subscribe button you know so you don't you don't miss future uploads 
Because, you know, we got the new Delhi unit. We got the new Abbasid unit. We got, like, new hunting cabins for the roost. You're probably not as excited about that as I am, but I'm pretty excited about it. So, maybe hit that subscribe button. You won't forget it. But men at arms are out for flash can't hit. Crackly, we'll be able to take these out. Spar heat with that increased damage. You can see, are able to take out men at arms a little bit faster. Men at arms underneath the TC. Plus two defense is in for Flash Khan. No plus one attack yet in for Crackney. In fact, he hasn't grabbed any upgrades here. And yes, Crackney, this is what I like to see. Four stables being dropped down. Another blacksmith. Going to be getting that increased production speed for the Spahi. A little bit of idle time under there as well. And Flash Khan, he's got his second town center down now. We see village account relatively even. Flash Khan a couple vills ahead due to uh, due to his raids earlier on. But Crackdy looks to just mass up Spahi for the time being. Veterans, the upgrades are in. No blacksmith upgrades yet. Maybe want to start to think about that. But Kashik's going to be running in here. I feel like Mongols is, is S tier on this map. Honestly, like the tower rush that they can do. And now they've got the Keshik, which is the perfect raiding unit. Just jumping on top of uh, wood lines for a few seconds, dealing a ton of damage, healing up all of your units, then skedaddling, skedoodling, skedaddling. You know, it, it's so good. It's so good. And they're available in the, the Feudal Age. I feel like this is better than French Knights at raiding, I'll be honest. And we got a huge mass of Keshiks on the way. Both players looking to just mass cavalry right here. Flash has actually managed to pick himself up all five relics on the map, which is pretty nice for him. Crackley has managed to wall up. Definitely a, a wise decision in this situation. I mean, the, these Kashyyyks, they're brutal. They are brutal. If he, if he can break through him, Crackley, for some reason, doesn't respond by pulling these villagers back. If these are able to jump on top of them and, and you get off, like, the attack speed arrow, they're all dead. They are all dead. There's no way they're getting back to that TC. And Crackley, he, he has to be careful here. Has he not noticed? Crackity. Wall goes down. Flash Khan. Crackity reacts in time, though. He's going to be able to retreat back, but that might be a lot of dead builds. Do we, have a do we have the maneuver arrow coming through? No, we don't, but the spearmen are here. Now, these are still quite a squishy sort of unit. They got decent health, but compared to a Lancer, these will get taken out very fast to a, uh, to a spearman. Movement arrow comes through, and they're going to be off. They're going to be running away. So, Crackity's plan right now is just mass... Spahi, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Just mass Spahi with a few spears in here as well. Always a good shout. And it looks like Khan's uh, idea has not changed. Just, oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. He's making some crossbows, but crossbows, they don't counter Spahi. Uh, Spahi, in fact, countered them. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of, a, kind of an odd one there for Flash. He's also uh, going to be up against a Manganel, but... Keshix, if they can jump on top of it, should be all right. Crackley's trade. Isn't even bothered about it. He's just keeping his traders inside the, the Sultani trade network. Maybe the Twin Minaret may have been the better landmark of choice in this situation. But, you know, you got to try out the trade, right? Sacred Sight's being captured up now for Flash Khan. Crackity. be making his way across the map with his spar heat. Need to deny that sacred site. Men at arms coming out from Plash. He's managed to bank the other two relics. It's a pretty decent gold income here for Flash. I've got to say, he's looking pretty good. He's up on bills. He's up in relics. We're going to have to see how he does, though, up against the, the spar here. So, Crackley just came over here to take out the priest. Oh, he didn't actually capture it up. Never mind. I thought uh, I thought the sacred site was captured up, but clearly not. And Crackley now going to be making his way across to Flash Khan's base. But here, the Keshiks are in. Look how fast they, they're able to kill Bills. Flash going to be retreating out, leaving a few of them in the base. Smart decision. Going to be retreating back to the base with these ones as Spahi are on the way over to Flash Khan's base. 18 bills, only 10 can fit in the TC here. Spahi going to be able to find some great value right here. 
That's going to be quite a few dead Vils right there. The Spearman and Crossbowman make their way over to the Spy Heat. TC Textiles coming through. Keshex going to be in the corner. More Vils for Crackley going to be going down. The two do go down right there. Manganel able to get some good shots off. I mean, it's, it's up against Knight. Uh, well, not, not Knight's Keshex, right? So Manganel's in this situation for Crackley. Probably not the not what you exactly need, but you're getting them for free from the Imperial Armory. So, you know, why not? Why not? And they're going to be good up against the Crossbowman mass that, uh, that Flash Gun's building for some reason. Still kind of unsure as to why he's got crossbows because, I mean... Every unit here counts as the crossbow. I mean, apart from the spear, but even then the spear does all right up against it. They're kind of an odd one right there, but... Kachuk's going to get caught off here for, for Kant. But he's going in for the charge. Going to try to pick off a few more bills here. Crackety. Needs to be careful. I'm going to be running through the base right there. Well, Crackety's spy he mass right now is huge. We got like, we got 30 Spahi up against 22 Keshiks. This is the ultimate cavalry game. I love that the civilizations are getting their unique units. Like, I, I know we've already got a load of unique units, but like, more is better. Nice micro coming out from Crackity right there. Hey, let's keep the four bills alive from the stone. Might be looking towards another... T uh, actually, I think it's going to be for some more military schools. Kind of, kind of interesting as to why he's on the, the stone. He's getting some, some emplacements, so... Maybe just looking to fortify up the base a little bit more. Those outposts are going to help out quite a bit. But Crackity, it looks like he's massing his army together right now. Kashuk, he's, a, he's really far ahead when it comes to the economy now, though. Up by 24... Yeah, 24 villagers. He's up by five relics as well. He's got a pretty big mass right here. Crackety. He needs to take a good fight. This is this is his last chance. He's got lances coming out of his own. But th this could be bad for Crackety. He's got no sprinkles in here. He needs to he needs to pray he can get some good shots off or try and take out the uh oh, oh man. <laughs> Those Keshiks just got obliterated. He needs to try and take out the, the Springles with his Spahi, but Spahi gonna be running in. Manganel's able to take some all right, shots. We see here, Springles able to take some nice shots onto the Manganels. Spy, he's going to be running around the back here. Let's see if they're surround. And we can see here, Spy trying to get on top of the units. But I mean, Flash Khan here, he's looking strong. Crackety. Taking a, a pretty bad fight here. All three Manganels go down. And Crackety, he's down in Eco. He's down in Relics. He's down in Army. And he's now called GG. There it is. The Keshik in Age of Empires 4 is finally here. And it's looking like an absolute beast. So if you did enjoy this game, please do feel free to leave a like. Maybe even su consider subscribing. Subscribe, guys. Come on. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.